Okay, good morning everyone. It's Megan Teacher Koy and welcome to Isip Math Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin yung Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 2 Module 4 and our topic is function. Okay, and for our for our learning competencies, we have here the learners finds the domain and range of a function and graphs the illust and illustrates a linear function and its domain range table of values intercepts and a slope and for our objectives we have here at the end of the lesson you're expected to determine the domain and range of the given function define a linear function f of x is equal to mx plus b and graph a linear function using a table of values and for our lesson one we have a lesson one domain and range of a function now, what is a domain of a function? So, domain of a function, based on our definition, is a set of all permissible values of x that give real values of y. So, ibig sabihin nito, values po ni x. And for our range of a function, is the set of permissible values of y or f of x. Okay, so f of x is simple as y. Okay, that gives the values of x real numbers. And finding the domain and range given a graph of function, ibig sabihin nito, if given pa yung graph then hahanapin po natin yung domain at saka, at saka si range so what we're going to do is we have this one for example we have this graph so for this graph as indicated in the graph arrowheads indicate that the graph of the function extends both directions so we have these arrowheads diba so it means extends both directions going up and going down or maybe going left or going right okay so it extends to the left or right without bound. So put it left or right, diba? without bound. Ibig sabihin, wala po siyang katapusan. Or extends upward or downward without bound. So that's the range of a, of a function is set of all real numbers. Okay, real numbers. Okay, so yung range po natin is up or down. Then for our domain, left or right. So, real numbers, okay, left or right. So, ibig sabihin nito is the domain D of the function is the set of all X such that X is an element of the set of real numbers. So, lahat ng value ni X, di ba? Then, for the range is the range of the function is a set of all Y such Y is an element of set of all real numbers, elements of all real numbers. And for number two, we have this graph. So as observed in the graph, arrowheads indicate that the graph of the function extended to the left and right without bound. Diba? Left and right without bound. And downward. So downward po siya. Wala po siyang outward but not upward without bound. So this domain of the function is the set of real numbers. Okay? Domain of the function. A lot of value ni x. Okay? Set of all real numbers while the range diba, the range is y po siya diba? range is any real numbers but less than 0 because as you can see in the graph sa 0 lang po siya diba? then pababa so either 0 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and so on ok lahat ng mga negative numbers so therefore the domain D of the function is the set of all x such that x is an element of the set of real numbers latang value x but for the range is the set of all y such that y is less than 0 because our graph is ito po siya, hanggang 0 la po siya, but pababa na po siya, so it means less than 0 okay less than 0 so 0 and down okay then finding the domain of a function so you have try and define the domain and the range of the graph of the function what if if you're asked to find the domain of the function itself without a graph wala po siyang graph so we have here the steps first is the denominator or the bottom of a fraction cannot be zero so if yung given function is fraction po siya so dapat yung kanyang denominator is not equal to zero and the number under the square root sign must be positive. So, yung number na sa loob ng square root sign, dapat positive po siya. So, we have here the examples. Okay, so, f of x is equal to 3x. So, therefore, 
there is no value of x that makes the function undefined. So, lahat ng value ng x, pwede. Substitute natin dito sa kay x. Okay? So, that's the domain of f of x is equal to 3x is the set of real numbers. Lahat ng value ng x, pwede. And for our number 2, f of x is equal to square root of x minus 2. This time, nasa loob po siya ng square root, di ba? So, dapat lahat ng value ni x na isubstitute natin dito ay ang result ay positive po siya. Di ba? x, value ni x minus 2. Dapat yung result is positive kasi pag negative, hindi po siya pwede. Di ba? So, we cannot substitute the value of x which is x is equal to 1 because if, if we substitute x is equal to 1, so magiging 1 minus 2. The result is negative 1. So, the square root of negative 1. So, dapat yung number sa loob ng square root is dapat positive po siya. So, ibig sabihin nito, pwede siya 2. Di ba? Positive 2 or 2 something. Pataas po siya. 2, positive 2, pataas. Para po, if we subtract this one, the value of x minus 2, dapat the result is positive. Then we can get the square root. Okay? And then for number 3, we have here f of x is equal to x plus 1 over x. So, dapat yung value ng x ay hindi po siya 0. Okay? Not equal to 0. Because if we substitute the value of x here, 0, ibig sabihin, undefined na po siya. Di ba? Okay. So, dapat yung denominator po natin dito ay ang kanyang value ay not equal to 0. Okay? Because that is part of our um, condition na if fraction po yung binigay na functional equation dapat yung denominator ay hindi po sa equal to 0. Okay, so I hope na gets po yung ibig natin sabihin. So we have here the exercise. Let's try to answer this one. By the way, I'm using the um, the module from the Bohol division. Okay? So for lesson 2, definition of a linear function. So before we proceed, kung naalala nyo po yung um, lesson natin, no? nakarang lesson po natin, di ba? Linear equation. So, linear equation or a linear function is just the same, di ba? So, linear function is a function of first degree na form of f of x is equal to mx plus b, di ba? mx plus b. In our linear equation, y is equal to mx plus b, that is our slope intercept form, di ba? Where m is equal to slope and b is our y intercept. But f of x is y. So, y is equal to mx plus b. Then, degree of a function, ibig sabihin, it is the highest exponent of x that occurs in the function. So, sa ating linear function, dapat yung exponent ni x is only 1. If more than 1, hindi na po siya linear function. Okay? Then, the slope of a line refers to the steepness. Same sa ating previous lesson, iba. Slope is steepness of a line. It can be solved using the formula, this one, rise over run, or y is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Diba? Same formula. So, we have here the examples. So, for number 1, we have here f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So, this is a linear function. Yes or no? Yes, this is a linear function. The degree is 1 because the highest exponent of our x is only 1. And our slope is 2. This one, 2. Diba? The numerical coefficient of x, that is our slope, and our y intercept b is 3, our constant here. Okay, so for number 2, f of x is equal to negative x. This is a linear function, yes. And the degree of, of the function is 1, diba? because the exponent of our x is only 1. And our slope m is negative 1. This is the numerical coefficient of our variable x, negative 1. And our y-intercept is 0 Kasi wala po tayong constant So, 0 pa ating y-intercept So, for our number 3 f of x is equal to 2 times the quantity x plus 4 Yes, this is a linear function And our degree of function is 1 Because the exponent of our variable x is only 1 And our slope m is 2 Because if we distribute 2 Sa loob ng parenthesis Magiging 2x plus 8 The final Um Equation is 2x plus 8. So, slope is 2. The numerical coefficient of our variable x. And our y-intercept b is 8. Diba? 
because we multiplied 2 to 4 that is 8 okay so for number 4 and number 5 as you can see it here hindi po siya linear function bakit ang highest expon ad exponent po ng ating variable x is 2 which is hindi po siya linear function because linear function or linear equation is only one lang po yung highest exponent ng ating variable x so hindi po tayo makapag determine ang slope at saka y intercept b same also with number 5 okay this is not a linear function our degree is 0 wala po siyang variable x therefore hindi po tayo maka determine ng slope at saka y intercept b okay so that's it so we have the exercise try to answer this one same po yung same po sa ginawa natin dito sa taas okay just identify if it is a linear function and the degree of the function and the slope m and the y intercept b and for our lesson number three graphing linear function using the table of values so alam na po natin kung paano po mag graph ng linear equation nung nakaraan po nating lesson di ba so we have your example okay the function can be graphed using the table values of x and y so we have here the function f of x is equal to 3x plus 1 and we have the values of x which is negative 1 0 and positive 1 so what we're going to do here is we will just substitute the value of x sa ating function okay ganyan lang po kasimple so solution for our equation f of x is equal to 3x plus 1 then we have the values of x negative 1 0 and 1 so if x is equal to negative 1 this one so substitute natin to sa ating function or sa ating equation so magiging 3x plus 1 x is negative 1 so 3 times negative 1 plus 1 the result is negative 3 plus 1 simplify the result is negative 2 so therefore when x is equal to negative 1 y is equal to negative 2 okay or f of x is equal to negative 2 then when x is equal to 0 this one substitute natin si 0 sa x so nagiging 3 times 0 plus 1 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 the result is 1 so when x is equal to 0 y is equal to positive 1 and for the last value of x x is equal to 1 so 3x plus 1 substitute natin magiging 3 times 1 diba? 3 times 1 plus 1 simplify 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 so therefore when x is equal to 1 y is equal to positive 4 okay so we have here our ordered pairs first is we have negative 1 and negative 2 diba? second is 0 and positive 1 third is positive 4 and, and positive 1 and positive 4 so we can now have or we can now create the table of values from our ordered pairs so when x is equal to negative 1 y is equal to negative 2 when x is equal to 0 y is positive 1 when x is equal to positive 1 y is positive 4 then we can now graph our equation or our function sa ating Cartesian plane when x is equal to negative 1 negative 1 is here y is equal to 2 so this is our point when x is equal to 0 y is positive 1 when s is equal to positive 1 this one here then y is positive 4 and this is now our graph so i hope na gets po yung ibig nating sabihin so that's it for our module 4 thanks for watching see you in my next video